to be given, like I said, to give, be given responsibility to have people trust you, who you don't really know, you don't really have a connection with them right at that point. Um, it made me feel like, like I could stand on my own TV. Like if this was like a full-time job, that I, I would not only do well, I would excel at it. So there was a, I felt like trans, like taking that and kind of thinking about it in the future, I felt like in two or three years, I could be probably where I never thought I would be, you know? Like I'd have my own place, my independence, things like that. And so there was a there was an aspect of dignity. Like I, I really felt like I was becoming my own person, I guess. Like I was growing, basically as, as the job progressed, I was growing. We knew that the Condominium Corporation owned the tract of land between the building and Bonaventure Avenue, and that it was a substantial piece of land, but probably more than the Condo Corp wanted to take on for landscaping and gardening purposes. So the first year or so that uh, we were in the building, it was fallow and looking pretty tattered. And a couple of us chatted about the fact that it was a gem that really could have a viable life in this part of the city if we found the right partnerships. It's Stella Circle with Conservation Corps NL and Kingsgate. And it's the three organizations working really well together, in my opinion. My favorite part is honestly what we did down there. Because like the very first day I came here, I went down there and like investigated the garden. Like when you bring a cat into your house and they like look around, sniff things. Yeah. I did my human version of that. And I seen down there, it was so ugly and just messy. And I really, really, really wanted to like, you know, fix it. I always like to have a big project every year for like the actual Kingsgate Community Garden. And this year was challenging. The young people that we work with, those are genuinely what inspires us to want to keep going 28 years in. That's what keeps us going. Hands down, no question. Watching a young person overcome barriers that I may never know, just how high that mountain is, just how tough that struggle is, but I know enough by watching what, you know, what they're going through. Um, to understand how deeply they have to dig um, to move that mountain, to get over that challenge, and watching them do it and succeed um, and build into themselves. Nobody's doing this for them. Nobody's handing them anything. They are choosing to give themselves a launching off point, and then they launch, and then they find the next point, and then they continue to move forward. Um, that is a gift and it's truly remarkable to, to, to see. It's a position of privilege to get to sit and be witness to that every year. Well, you, got, you got work to do. Somebody's paying you to do a job, you show up. Also, I enjoyed the work. I enjoyed being outside, like it, especially during COVID, you know? And for me, especially, I spent a lot of time inside. So just getting out in the sunshine, I got a tan. I never had a tan before like this, you know? <laughs> like that's a first tan right there. I never had that before. He talked about there was a plant that was almost dead and we were, I said it too, I was like, throw it out, that's not gonna do that He was like, no, no, we're gonna plant this plant and see, we're gonna give it a chance. And I was like, all right. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, I got it right after that because seeing him plant that plant and it came back to life, it flourished. And you know what I mean? The, the, I love this because it's the, the metaphors are so easy. Like yeah. you just kind of cherry pick them. Here's one, <laughs> and but, but yet they're easy to kind of cherry pick and use, but very impactful and meaningful to the people we're working with. I remember going over to the first end of season presentation over at Cabot Street and uh, Rob and yourself had the team and they stood in front of the group and they talked about what it had meant to them to be in the garden and what it had meant to them to see a smile or a wave from somebody from a balcony. Uh, what it meant to them to plant a seed and see it grow and realize that this was actually something that A, they had done, that they had accomplished, and that it was, um, it was food, it was something they could eat. It was, you know, it just broadened their horizon. They came to me with the design and said, this is what we're going to do. 
and it was all thought out and it was a but it was a design of it and, this, and I got this like yes this is what we'll do and then we did it and then it came together every person here has leadership capabilities and abilities just um, believe in yourselves I believe in every person here to repay their support by not squandering it and taking it and growing, I guess. Just so I can just say, I'm gonna be okay. The future is not like this dark place for me anymore.